So yesterday, we cleaned the holes. It's probably our least favorite job, but I made a rather horrific discovery, and that was that the cone nut on one of the propellers was loose. So the way this works is the prop shaft comes from the engine, and then there's a splined shaft, and the prop fits on top of this. Once the prop's on, this cone nut screws onto the shaft, but it's been known to come undone. It used to have a bolt that went in over here, but they put a different kind of n rod in here, a threaded rod that is Loctited in place with red Loctite. Supposedly, it should not come undone. So here's the problem. We're in a very isolated part of the Sea of Cortez. There's no way we can haul the boat. We're too far away to careen it, and I don't want to run the risk of this protective rod coming out and us losing the prop. If we can take the shaft out of the water, how do we attach this nut? You see there's some threads in there. How do we put the Loctite into this thread? Because Loctite is supposed to be applied in air. Apparently there's a version that's in a paste version that comes in a tube that you can use for that. We don't have any aboard and we can't find any. So I went digging in our adhesives box and lo and behold, I found this. It's called Vibratite VC3 and I called the manufacturer to find out if that would be okay to use and turns out it will. So we should be in business. What I need to do now is get the hooker working again, get underwater, find some way of wedging the prop so that I can take off those two nuts on the rod. Then I can take the cone off, apply the Vibratite VC3 to these threads, let it cure. The lady said about half an hour. Then I can take it underwater and Bob should be our uncle or our aunt, depending on your perspective. So let's see how that works. <laughs> I think we're about ready to take all this back. Here's the prop, cleaned it up some. There were a lot of barnacles and crud in here. Just remember to put some grease on before I put it in. You can see there's the splines where the shaft holds the prop. And here is the disc that goes between the cone and the prop, like that. So what we've done with the cone, besides clean it up, is I put some of this thread lock in there. And it's been in there for over half an hour now. And it feels dry, not tacky at all. And just for good measure, I couldn't find another nut, uh, a locking nut like this. So I put some in this nut and also two other nuts that go in there. That when this gets turned, the prop wants to turn this way and Lizzie will have a piece of wood there that will prevent the uh, prop from turning and will allow me to fasten this. And then after that, I'll snug up these nuts as well. So with that being done, I think we're ready to start. So, wish us luck.
that worked out. It worked out. This shows you what you can do where seemingly you have nothing around. We had good communications. There's always friendly people out there willing to help. I happen to have ordered that thread locker and I'd forgotten about it. It's years ago now because we had the hooker. Teamwork. And the water was nice and clear. The water was incredibly clear. Yeah, it all worked out. After we've used it a few times, I'll dive down and, and make sure everything still looks okay. okay. That's the definition of cruising, is maintenance in exotic places. And we've had our fill of it the last <laughs> month or so, haven't we? No, we've had our fill of it since, how long have we had the boat? Five years? Yeah. Uh, Thank you.